Hey gang, welcome back to my channel if you have been here before and if you're new, I bid you welcome. There are videos on this channel that will help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So please do check out the other videos on this channel. There is some serious health info here that is really widely unknown and pretty mind-blowingly interesting. Anyways, on to the topic of this particular video. I wanted to show you what I do when I'm traveling in terms of eating, eating out. When you're traveling, if you are on vacation, please do treat yourself. You need to allow yourself to eat something delicious, something you don't normally get because you are traveling. Food is one of the greatest joys in life. Walk around and look for food. And anytime you see any food, put it in here. Just take it and put it in here. Doesn't have to be more complicated. I lived a long time with an eating disorder and let me tell you, I have never appreciated treating myself more than I do these days. I do like to live about 80-20. Actually, it's more like 90-10 in my life where I'm eating 80 to 90 percent optimally healthy and then 10 to 20 percent I am treating myself and I am living my life to its fullest. I still feel amazing. If you eat 80% optimally well, the body can ingest a 20% of not so great without noticing the insult too much and sometimes mostly not at all. This is a trip to Sedona, Arizona and it was incredible. The food there is incredible. I did a little bit of eating out, a lot of making my food. It was an Airbnb. However, if you do have a hotel that has a fridge, you can do this too. I always avoid microwaves no matter where I'm at, so that's up to you. But anyhow, let me take you on a little tour of a couple restaurants I checked out. A healthy traveling grocery haul Luckily, Sedona is full of optimally healthy people that love healthy foods, so that wasn't too hard at all. I have been in situations where it is more difficult. I have linked below a full day of eating at an airport to give you an idea about how to go about that. Let's go! <laughs> Although I am not vegan or vegetarian myself, one of my rules of thumb while traveling is to look for a vegan, vegetarian, plant-based type of restaurant. Usually they are way more up and up on the healthy cooking methods. They're generally automatically gluten-free or do have gluten-free, dairy-free options. Obviously dairy-free if vegan. This restaurant was vegan. It was called Flower Child. A lot more raw options here as well as cooked ones I had the glow bowl sweet potato noodle bok choy zucchini onion shiitake mushroom jalapenos and a bunch of other delicious things that was a fresh salad my girlfriend had here was mine it was a warm salad type of dish sweet potato noodles are absolutely delicious moving on next to the Airbnb listen to this I can't describe how amazing it was falling asleep to that each night, but this was an Airbnb called Sedona Magic. It was run by the cutest little couple. Look at this welcome basket. Organic, gluten-free muffins, brownies, fruits. They were an unbelievably amazing couple of people. It was like staying at a retreat and they're friendly. I always recommend Airbnbs over hotels. Way more homey. We made great friends with them. Couldn't have asked for a more comfortable situation. Their house was beautiful. They have two rooms. Check them out on Airbnb if you can. Again, it was called Sedona Magic, run by Gregory and Souza. And like I say, they just provided the most awesome experience. Also, through Airbnbs, you get to know way more about the place, the surrounding places from the locals. Like what really is the best thing to check out? What are the best little places to eat? What are the best things to do? I find the locals really do know a lot more than reading a brochure at a hotel. Regardless of Airbnb or hotel, I find that using grocery stores and making as much of your own food as possible at the place that you're staying is the best way to stay in control of what you're eating, stay on track, while still being able to treat yourself when you're out. 
This is chocolate tree. Everything is 100% organic, gluten-free, and completely made from scratch. It was unbelievably delicious. Such a beautiful place. I had a dish called the vegetable udapam. It was three thick Indian pancakes filled with curried veggie filling with spinach, red pepper, chutney, and mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness, amazing. Some more tips I would have to stay healthy while traveling is make sure you still try to get an optimal sleep. If you are traveling time zones, the best thing to do would be to wait until the natural bedtime of the time zone that you have traveled to. Just stay up and then go to bed when it is bedtime in that place. That will help to reset your biological clock according to their time zone a lot easier. Drink extra water while you're traveling. The optimal amount is always going to be half your body weight of pounds in ounces of filtered water per day. Mess in a box is what I call this. This is where I go somewhere like Whole Foods or somewhere that has a healthy salad bar and I go through all of the delicious things that I love and throw them in a box. It looks like an absolute dog's breakfast but it is such an enjoyable thing to do and it's very healthy. There are all kinds of stores now that have healthy food bars for you. Okay make sure you're always grabbing healthy snacks that you can carry with you when you're on the go it is so important to have something readily available to eat because when you're traveling you never know when you're going to end up in a situation where you need a snack and you want something healthy to grab so you don't have to resort to unhealthy options what my favorite things are are apples they don't need to be refrigerated you can carry them around with you healthy protein bars healthy protein bars are actually one of the best things because they will sustain you for a long amount of time you don't want to resort to those unhealthy sugar filled granola bars you're gonna be hungry soon after you're gonna have a blood sugar crash and nuts nuts are another great go-to that I like to stick with because they're filling full of protein and will keep you sustained on to the grocery haul kombucha delicious good for the gut it's nice and carbonated I just love kombucha Always some veggies for snacking on for salads. Refried beans, awesome for salads. We got some blueberries, some bananas for breakfast, a sweet potato, can't go wrong, mixed greens. Just easy things you can throw in a salad. Baby carrots and hummus, such a good high protein snack. Healthy fats in the avocado, no antibiotic sliced turkey, super easy to eat on the go. We've got some berries and yogurt, individual yogurts, ungranola. Check the video down below for a recipe of ungranola you can make at home. Caffeine free zevia made with stevia instead of sugar, healthy for you giant organic apples and organic eggs you can buy a half carton when traveling our x bars are awesome they also have nut butters that have egg whites in them for extra protein and again healthy protein bars to carry around so this was what i bought i stuck with this for most of the week and my meals ungranola so grain-free granola with berries yogurt banana so awesome for breakfast i also put nut butter on top of that you really do want the nut butter for the fats okay this is a salad i made some refried beans some hummus i cooked up some broccoli and peppers if you can't cook them they're okay raw and baby greens tomatoes healthy fats lots of protein with the refried beans this salad was delicious and there you have it. That was some of the restaurants that I checked out, a healthy grocery haul and some meals I made at the Airbnb. No microwave involved, no processed junk involved. It was all great. It was delicious. Anyway, if you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please do give it a thumbs up for me down there. That really helps support me and my channel. Please subscribe. Like I said, the videos on here can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. And share the wealth, share the channel around as everyone seems to enjoy these videos. Please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be sent a notification each time I post a new video. There is an epic giveaway coming up at a thousand subscribers of a completely individualized 
custom made nutrition program taking into account how your body metabolizes foods. So we are all different. Even if we both have the same body type or blood type, the physiological processes inside our bodies are still entirely different. This program will work with anyone anywhere in the world as I do work with people all over the world. So please do subscribe for a chance to win that. Please leave any comments down below or send me messages, any questions for future Q&A videos as I do those as well. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun trying new things, eating new ways when you do travel or even at home. And I'll see you next time. Bye.